Hey everyone, it's that freaking metal guy here, and it's Black Metal Sunday again. For those of you who don't know, every Sunday I upload a Black Metal Sunday uh, video, and I review an album from 2011, 2012, and 2013. And of course, they're going to be all be Black Metal. I have a little bit of a treat to you. I have a uh, preview for an album that's coming out in next next month, and two really good uh, Black Metal albums that aren't completely Black Metal. They're not entirely Black Metal. But they're still real good. And they still have that black metal influence them. Without these, without the black metal influence, these albums wouldn't be as good as they are. So definitely stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoy my black metal Sunday video. And if you like black metal Sunday videos or like black metal Sunday, the idea of it, then how would you celebrate black metal Sunday? So hope you guys enjoy this video, and see you guys later. All right, this first one: Satanic Royalty by Midnight. And what people are describing it as black heavy metal, instead of just being black metal. And the way I can describe this is Motorhead meets black metal. You can definitely hear the Motorhead in the seventh song, Bonds on Bonds, and the tenth song, uh, Shock Till Blood. You can definitely hear some kind of Motorhead in there. And it's this is a really good album. Uh, the way it, it really starts off not in the first song, uh, Satanic Royalty, but the second one, You Can't Stop Steel. And it keeps going with "rip this hell." What does "rip this hell" mean? Who cares? Um, but it doesn't really get off until the fourth and fifth song. Or really, the uh, death metal part of this, the fifth song of "Black Damnation," and it's it's a really oh the fourth song being "Necromania." So fourth song "Necromania," fifth song "Black Damnation," and those two are really the more I guess death metal pure death metal songs in this album the rest have you can definitely hear the black metal influence in there but you can also hear the you know the heavy metal influence in there especially in uh, shock till uh, blood and violence on violence you also have songs like lust filth and sleaze which lust filth and sleaze I don't really think that's a sort of a black metal subject it's more of a heavy metal subject so I give this album a 8 out of 10 it's a really really good album you can find it on Bandcamp the price is six dollars and sixty six cents US so definitely check this album out and it's it's song for song it's a really really good album so definitely check this out if you are into Motorhead and you're into the black metal then it sort of works out for you in the long run all right let's get to the second album all right, here's the second album. It is Three by Dope Throne, and this is a Black Sludge Doom Metal album. And you can definitely hear the Doom in this album. You can definitely hear the Sludge in this album. You can definitely hear the Black Metal in this album. And I feel about one of those factors in it. It won't be as good as it is. <clears throat> it's a, it is a really good album, and you can definitely hear the Doom. They start getting this groove, and there's some of these riffs, and you just want to bang your head to it. And I. Listen to this, some of these tracks or songs uh, four or five times just to bang my head to them. But the only problem, the only thing I foresee probably people not really wanting to listen to this album, it's sort of on the long side. The shortest song is Devil's Danger, and that's three minutes and 51 seconds. Oh, that's not so bad, not so long. But the longest song is uh, Reverend Deep, and that's the second song, that's 10 minutes and three seconds. And it's. For a lot of uh, people that listen to metal, it's not that long. I mean, some guys will sit down and listen to a 25 minute song, but I, th I think for an average listener, not someone who's totally into metal as a lot of people are, they won't be into the 10 minute songs, the 9 minute songs, and all of this, but it's definitely worth listening to. If you don't like the long songs, listen to Devil's Dandruff first. That's only 3 minutes and 51 seconds, and. Then branch your way into the longer songs of this. There's only five songs on this album, and, it, and it's over 30 minutes of music. So that's a pretty long time for like five songs for a, a lot of people to take in at once. So just listen to one song, take a break, listen to another song, take a break. You know, this band is definitely worth your time to listen to. The price tag on this on Bandcamp is $6.66, the same as the first one. And. The ranking for this, I give it a 8.5 out of 10. And definitely for any Doom Metal fans, or any Sludge Metal fans, or any Black Metal fans, 
definitely this, this album. I think it leans more towards the doom and sludge, but I think without the black metal in there, you can hear it with the vocals. It wouldn't be as good if they choose to try some other vocal techniques to it. I think of all three of these factors working, all three of these genres working, you, they, they create a great album. And you should definitely give this album a look at. And let's get to the third album, 8.5 out of 10. So let's get to the third album. All right, we're our third album, Magic Chaos Psychedelia of In Shadowed. And this album does not come out to February 19th, 2013. So I'm not going to release too much information about it, just my thoughts about it. Really, really good album. I mean, if you're waiting for this album to come out, you uh, should be because it's it's going to be good. I'm telling you, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. I don't want to give out too much about this album yet. I don't know how much they released about it. But it's definitely going to be worth your time to listen to if you're a big fan of this band. So it's definitely a must-have. So thank you for watching this Black Metal Sunday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you guys have a rockin' day. See you later.